What's up guys? I know I haven't made a video in a while, but today I'm gonna to be flipping a moped that I bought for $200 from my friends. And I'm just gonna show you guys around it real quick. So yeah, right now, obviously it doesn't look great, but you just gotta give it some time, put a little bit of work in. It runs and drives, it needs a new back tire. But um, yeah, it came with the plastics and none of them look cracked. So that's a big plus. Um, so yeah, I bought it for 200 bucks running and driving. And I really don't think it's going to take much to get this thing going. So I'm going to show you guys just some of the small stuff I do just to get this thing looking a little bit better, running better and everything. And then, uh, yeah, I'm going to probably sell it for probably somewhere. I'm hoping to get around 400, 500 bucks, which I shouldn't have to put much money into this. So it should be like a $200 profit in the so end. So I think what I'm going to start off with here is, um, the battery terminals, everything's kind of all fucked up in here. So I'm going to take the battery off and I'm going to charge it. And then I'm going to splice in some new ends to be able to connect it to the battery so that we can have electric start work and everything again. I was told the battery works. Um, it's my friend, so I did see it work not that long ago. And yeah, having electric start working should bring up the value of this thing a lot too and just make it more convenient for the person who's buying it. So yeah. So yeah, here's the battery. Got it charging. And then we're going to come over here. And I'm just going to figure out a new end to attach the battery just so everything looks a little bit more clean over here. All right, so I literally just threw this thing on here and just pinched it down. So now that's all good. There's nothing wrong here. So now I'm going to move to the back. I don't know why I'm doing cosmetic stuff when I still have to do a tire, but I think I'm just going to try and uh, take my uh, grinder and cut the fender right here because uh, it'll just make it look more clean. It won't look like somebody was doing wheelies in it, which the previous owner was. So yeah, that'll just help clean up the thing and make it look a little bit less beat. I think the next thing to do is gonna be to find a back tire for this thing. But I have a lot of moped parts because I've owned so many and I'm gonna look to see if I have a back tire for it, if not a tire and rim. And that would make my life a lot easier and that would make this thing a turnaround real quick because then all I really have to do is uh, put those plastics on uh, once the battery is charged, hook up the battery and then this thing's ready to go and I'll be able to sell it for a pretty decent profit here. All right, so here's um, the parts moped. I mean, if you guys have been watching me for any sort of time, you know that this is the OG. I jumped this thing, broke the frame on it and everything. I went absolutely crazy on this thing, but it has a brand new back tire and rim. So I'm going to throw that on this because I think that they're about the same size. I really hope that they line up because that would be clutch right now. And then I have a brand new back tire and I really don't need to buy anything for this thing. All right. So I actually just found out that the tire is good. It just needed to be refilled and he must have been running it low and then driving on it. It kind of dented the rim a little bit, but it seems like it's holding air pretty solid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the wire wheel to this wheel and then I'm going to plasti dip it so that it just looks better because really that's the whole goal of what I'm doing to this moped. I'm really just trying to make the thing look better. Um, obviously function better because now it's not going to have a flat tire. But yeah, so this has no muffler and I think I have a spare muffler. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off probably somewhere near here. And I'm going to weld on a new muffler. And See, yeah. I'm going to wire wheel the um, wheel and then uh, yeah, I'm going to paint it. And we should be all good to go because the tire seems to be holding air, which is awesome. Now I don't even need to use the parts tire and I can work and use that for another project. All right. So I uh, wire wheeled the uh, wheel and now it's just ready to, I'm just going to put some plastic dip on it real quick and I'll show you guys when it's done. All right. So usually I'm doing the exact opposite, but right now I got this header cut off and uh, I'm going to weld it to this muffler I have. But yeah, so when you're selling something, a lot of people don't want it to be straight piped. And since it's a two-stroke, it is very loud when it's straight piped. So yeah, I'm going to weld up the ex exhaust and then I should be good with the muffler. All right, so I got the exhaust done and uh, welded up. And so now I'm gonna go on, I just cleaned up all these body, all the body panels. And I'm just gonna paint them like primer gray because I don't really like the white. It has like all these stains and everything in it. 
And uh, I think that you can lay down the primer pretty thick so it'll cover over a lot of these like scratches and stuff. I don't know, I'm not planning on having it be perfect, but just better than it is now. That's kind of the plan. I already have the paint, so again, I'm still zero dollars into this. And uh, yeah, and so uh, here's the uh, wheel that I painted. That came out really good. And uh, yeah, so once that dries, I'll be able to put it on here. And yeah, this thing's really coming along. I mean, this is one night of work and I'm almost there. All I gotta do is paint this, the body panels, put them on, and then it should be good. The battery is almost fully charged, so I should be able to post this thing on Marketplace tomorrow and sell it pretty quickly because it's, it's actually going to be a decent moped. I mean, I'm not a big... I don't think mopeds are cool and all, but like it, it should be a nice one, so I should be able to sell it pretty quickly. All right, so I got the body painted, and this thing looks so much better with the body on it, and like I, the exhaust even looks pretty stock, but it's actually an upgraded exhaust so it's it's actually good but yeah no this thing actually looks like pretty decent and i think once i put the battery in it and it's running i'll be able to get some money for it pretty quickly because i mean there's there's really nothing wrong with it and yeah so i mean the paint obviously isn't perfect but yeah basically i didn't have to put any money into this thing um 200 dollars into it because i bought it for 200 um, if you did have to do the tire, it'd probably be like maybe 50 bucks, but still, I mean. So yeah, for even for 250, I mean, I should be able to get anywhere between 400 to 550 for this thing. I'm going to post it on Marketplace tomorrow morning or maybe tonight. It's pretty late. It's like two in the morning. I just wanted to stay up and finish this thing because I could probably sell it by the end of tomorrow if I, uh, if I make a nice post for it. So yeah. I'll let you guys know what happens with selling it, and uh, yeah, I'll keep you updated. But yeah, 200 bucks into this thing, not bad. Got a running, driving moped with everything working, so I think we should be good to make a few bucks here. So there's the fender, all nice and cut. And yeah, so you can just see it looks a little bit more clean. Um, obviously, you could tell that it is cut because it's so straight and sharp. But yeah, it just makes the thing look better, and I cleaned up this with a just like a little wet rag and then... Yeah, so just cleaning up the back. Um, all right, so um, I just got back from selling the bike. I posted it this morning for uh, 500 bucks, and I got $450 for it, and I delivered it to the person. It was about a 30-minute drive, so it wasn't too much gas because I drive a five-speed Ranger, so it doesn't really burn through much fuel. But, yeah, I mean, the thing ran good and everything. There was nothing wrong with it. So, yeah, I got rid of it pretty quickly. I bought the thing last night at 10 o'clock at night, and it is now... 12 in the afternoon and I have the thing sold. That's a little over 12 hours and I made $250 because again, I bought it for $200 and then I just sold it for 450. I didn't put a dollar into it. That's one night of work and I made $250. And yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, subscribe and uh yeah, I should be making some more. I just want to show you guys how uh I could buy these things fix them up a little bit and sell them in one even just literally one night like i just worked last night all i did today was post the thing and then sell it so yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next one